looking at the Asus Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. I myself am quite a big fan of the uh, Sabertooth. I like the tough stuff. I like the tough components. We've got this awesome tough ceramic stuff and they have this crazy marketing term. It's like Sarah M exclamation point X. So they have this ceramic coating that goes onto your heat sinks and you know, on the heat sink around the V-Reg and everything. And it helps with the heat dissipation. They advertise that it's 50% better than most. Uh, I did notice that the motherboard stay nice and cold, but then again, I've got it in this case and we've got like, how many fans did we put in there, Max? Like seven or eight fans, like seven fans in there. So that helps as well, but um, but if you're wondering how the motherboard does, they have something called the thermal radar, and that comes in the AI suite that I did a separate video on. I'm going to separate this video from the video with the BIOS because I looked around online, guys, and there's nobody that's really talking about the BIOS on this in a way that makes me happy. I mean, they go through and they're like, oh, this is the BIOS, and I'm clicking the thing. No. No. So what we're going to do is a separate video just covering the BIOS. It's going to be really in-depth. And it's for all you guys who are really considering this motherboard or you already have it and you need some tips. So go ahead and click on the screen here. It's a video on the BIOS and also on the um, AI suite that comes with this. The AI suite has a lot of different things you can do. Uh, and I was just mentioning the uh, tough thermal radar. Now they've put sensors all over this motherboard so you can you know, see how hot it is uh, over by the USB 3 or over on the South Bridge or check the PCI Express or check the, uh, check the CPU itself. It's really, really handy and uh, you can monitor all that in Windows. So check out that video and be very happy. Now, one of the other things I like about this is Asus has their, um, their world-famous DigiPlus VRM. It's just a really efficient system to deliver power to the CPU when it needs it. It keeps things nice and stable, helps you overclock. Uh, the power phase design on this is 8 plus 2, so that's pretty standard uh, for a motherboard of this quality. And you'll see that in a lot of the higher-end um, 990FX. Sometimes you'll see even better than that, but this one did a decent job. Let's cover the actual specs of the board. Let's take a deep look at the board. Here's your CPU socket, AM3+, plus, AM3, also compatible with AM2. And we have our heat sinks with the ceramic coating over the V-Regs and the DigiVRM. There's your 12-volt power connector right there. Moving on down, we got some fan connectors there for the motherboard and CPU. Uh, then we have our RAM slots for 32 gigabytes max, 1866 memory. Another fan. Uh, there's your 24-pin power, USB 3. Another fan connector there, lots of those. All right, let's talk about SATA. We have eight ports in total on version 2. They all run at 6 gigabits per second. Uh, that's a J-Micron controller there. And then we have the AMD controller right beside that, and that supports RAID 1, RAID 0, RAID 1 plus 5, and RAID 10. There's our front panel connector. We have a uh, serial port connector there. Then we have a uh, little jumper there, which is kind of fun. Two USB 2.0 ports right there. Moving on back, we've got our Firewire and also our front panel audio connector there. Over here, we have some additional fan connectors. Lots and lots of fans on this. As you can see, we have four PCI Express uh, slots, or four PCI Express 16 slots. When you're running multiple cards, it runs at, um, at 16x for the first one, and then it runs at 4x, then 8x, and then the last one also runs at 8x. Uh, if you look, we also have a 1x PCI Express slot, and there's a legacy PCI slot. Backwards compatible. Looking at the front panel, we have 7.1 audio, Ethernet, we have uh, two USB 2 internet, two USB 2 there, uh, two USB 2 and an eSATA USB combo port. We have right there, have two USB 3.0, then we have two more USB 2.0, Firewire, uh, eSATA USB, and then also does fast charge. There's your uh, optical audio, PS2 keyboard uh, and mouse combo, and then below that we have uh, two more USB 2.0 ports. So all in all, I am pleased with the uh, Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. I really like a lot of the features, and I like what you get with the AI suite. Uh, the BIOS is so loaded that it hurts my head, but that's a good thing. Uh, I've always liked all their tough, tough components. I've had better luck with the Sabertooth line just across all platforms, AMD and Intel, than I have with just about any other uh, motherboard line out there. They just seem to be really, really, really reliable. Even though sometimes you can't push the, uh, the CPU as high, uh, we were able to get it to 4 just in the BIOS, you can go and do like Asus's, a, um, you can just like do their easy overclock or whatever it's called. Yeah, well, you'll see that in our BIOS, uh, you know, video anyway. But just by clicking that, I was able to get like 800 extra megahertz. So that was nice. So it's, it's really easy to, to overclock. As far as complaints, it would be nice if uh, you could run 16, 16x crossfire, but it's 16, 8, 8. So that's how that works. Other than that, it's, uh, it's just a solid board. That's all there is to it. It's a really solid board for um, the 990FX. Uh, one thing I will say is this is version 1 of the board, and this has been discontinued. You will see version 2 almost everywhere. The main difference is that version 2 supports the 8 cores, uh, like the 83, uh, 
like the 8350 here I'm holding in my hand and also the 8120 that's in there right now, it supports the 8-core out of the box. We had to flash the BIOS on this one, but as long as you have an older AM2, AM3 CPU, you can flash the BIOS and you can do that easily uh, even with the USB stick. So it's no big deal, but just be aware if you buy it from somewhere uh, and it's a version 1, you'll probably have to flash the BIOS to take advantage of a lot of the FX uh, CPUs. All in all, it's really stable, really sturdy, uh, nice and cool. Got a lot of really cool software package with it, and we were able to get some decent overclocks out of it. Not the best I've ever seen, but very, very respectable, and it's very reliable. So I give it my endorsement, the AMD Sabertooth 990 FX motherboard.